but I've got a good feeling about this next round. <laughs> alert, alert, pizza delivery approaching. Rock, paper, laser, shoot! <laughs> Rock, paper, later! <laughs> this, this is, is bad. bad. Jinx, you owe me a new thunder monitor. Seriously, if you have an extra one, this is the time to speak up. <laughs> Lasers always win, dummy! <laughs> Is that true, Nora? Uh, so glad the thunder monitor's fixed. Activating party mode. That's weird. Thunder monitor, turn off! Alert, alert. Lost it with still broken. Ah, uh, who's up for a dance party? You know I am. Party over here. It. There's a perfectly good explanation for that. Here's my motto, I just wanted gelato, I never really fixed it! Activating heavy metal mode. What's going on? This is my kind of music, baby! Thunder Monitor, stop the music! Activating heat mode. Gelato! It's melting! Melting! Don't worry, I'll save it! <laughs> See ya! No! Remember, we know nothing. Why is this happening? Yeah, why is this happening? Why is the thunder monitor doing that? Yeah, why is the thunder monitor doing that? Why are you repeating everything we're saying? Yeah, why is we repeating everything you're saying? <laughs> This is our life now! Billy, we have to end this! But I just got my kite going! Mom! Dad! We broke the thunder monitor playing rock, paper, laser! You lasered it? Are you yelling because of the noise or because you're incredibly mad at us? I can't believe yeah, you yeah. kids! <laughs> Remember what Jebediah said? If your youngins break the thunder monitor, you show them mercy. Oh my gosh, Barb, they made it all up. I knew Billy reading a book was too good to be true. <laughs> hey, Max, have you seen that box of Mom's old stuff? Seen it and sold it. What? Max, that box had Mom's old Electro Whip in it. Oh, poor sucker. Now he's got to throw it out. No, Max, it's her real whip. It's super dangerous in a non soup's hands. You've got to get it back. Whoever bought it could get seriously hurt. Luckily, I don't get too attached to my customers. Hurt kid plus angry mom equals no pool. No pool equals sad Max. Hey, kid, get back here. Wait, am I hurting the kid? Let's get the box back. So, did Max see the box? Sure did. Oh, good. Did he put it back in the attic? Would I be standing here avoiding eye contact if Max didn't put the box in the attic? <laughs> This is the place. What do you want, hipster? Look, I sold that box to you by mistake, and I uh, was wondering if I could get it back. Here's your 20 bucks. I gave you 50 sideburns. Right. Wait. There's, uh, something missing in here, uh... You mean Electris's real whip? I don't know how you got it, but you're never getting it back, Wall Street. Stop calling me names, give it back. I'm not giving this bad boy up. 
I don't want to give this to Electris herself. We all know that's not gonna happen, Chinatown. <laughs> oh, Electris. Hello, citizen. Electris, is it really you? Yes, it is me. I hope you turn off the light when you leave a room. I do! I don't. I will! I believe you have something of mine. Yes, yes, your whip! Come in, my high wattage queen. <laughs> Got your whip? But before you go, Electris, what was your favorite battle ever? Uh, that would be like choosing my favorite child. Impossible. <laughs> Although, if pressed, I'd have to say my oldest daughter. <laughs> This was fun, but uh, Electris has to get to a charity event. <laughs> Needy children without batteries. So I'll just take my whip. Sorry, one more question. Whatever happened to your sidekick? Had a sidekick? Oh, my sidekick. I was just telling this guy that story. Here, tell him the story. Uh, don't look at me until we got to this dweeb cave. I thought she was dad's sidekick. <laughs> Return to the spark attack! <laughs> Ow! Oh, sorry! Ow! Ow! Right off! I can't! Ow! You're not the real Electris! Liars! Wiggity wiggity whip! <laughs> Shocked to see me? Electris! Supercharged goddess? No need to make this weird, citizen. I used my state of the art homing device to track my whip here. Thank you, young man, for being a heroic electrolyte. Electress, these posers aren't really your kids, are they? My kid? No way! My kids would never be so reckless as to compromise their identities and safety just to make a couple of bucks. <laughs> Told you. But I will make sure they get what's coming to them. A stern talking to while we swim in our new pool? Farewell, young spark plug. <laughs> Electris, wait! Before you go! Who's gonna pay for this hole my carpet? Ooh, cutie cat's on. I don't remember Hootie having any rules. Hey, Billy, let's find their old Hootie DVDs and show them to Chloe. No, you're not. <laughs> you wouldn't find them anyway. I hid those a long time ago. <laughs> it's cute when they try to hide things. Let's show this to Chloe before Cutesy Cow ruins her. Look, she's starting how to brush her teeth. Move, move, move your brush, brush up and down your gums. Then be sure to brush your hair. Hygiene can be fun. Chloe, we have something for you. <gasps> cool, an owl. Not just any owl. Check this out. Hootie, you can't just eat that candy without paying. That's still. Who don't care? Who don't care? Who don't care? What do you think about that? Maybe we shouldn't have shown that to Chloe. She's a good kid. I don't think we have anything to worry about. Chloe don't care. Where's Chloe? I thought you had her! Chloe, don't care! We gotta fix her before. 
before mom and dad find out about this. Good luck with that. Hootie's her master now. <laughs> no way. We just gotta put our foot down. Chloe Thunderman, get up here this instant! <laughs> We've had enough of this, young lady. No more Chloe don't care, and no more Hootie. That was a mistake. <laughs> and stay out! <laughs> Chloe, you can't lock us out. Chloe don't care. <laughs> Chloe don't care? You showed her Hootie the... Uh it's pronounced owl. We specifically told you not to show her. Hey, my super hiccups are gone. Just like we planned. I am breaking the door down. Hank, it doesn't matter if we're inside or outside. The problem is she stopped caring. We need to find something that she cares about again. Chloe loves watching Cutesy Cat with us. We can do that. That's a great idea, Nora. Look, everyone, it's Cutesy Cow. Let's watch it together as a family. Who wants a hug? The Hugo Crow! Don't answer it, Mom. We all know what she's going to say. <laughs> well, now what? Uh, uh, uh oh. Uh, Hank, you sound like you're coming down with a cold. No, 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 no way. I am Thunder Man. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's got a super sneeze. Sweet honey, but daddy's fine. Not you. That. Did you hear that, Billy? She cares again. That's great. We believe we're ready to begin a more grown up level of superhero training. You started training Phoebe when she was our age. Yeah, Phoebe's special. Mm. Just like you guys. We've taken down some serious villains, like Fairy Princess at the prom. Allow us to refresh your memories. I'm gonna pin you into next week. But she didn't, because Billy zapped her, and I locked her in a box. You have zapped me. Goodbye, cool world. Get in the box, Scarlett Johansson. Another villain taken out by Billy and Nora. <laughs> okay, you guys convinced us. Meet us in the driveway tomorrow afternoon and we will begin your next phase of superhero training. Nora, we did it. I told you it would work. <laughs> guys, can I come out now? <laughs> Hello, little soups. Let's have some training fun. <laughs> training tool for a baby. Or someone who's just been born. <laughs> the training bot is built to challenge soups at any level. Right now it's set to cutesy wootsy because you two are cutesy wootsy. We're not cutesy wootsy. I don't know. I'm pretty adorable. <laughs> at least challenge us and crank this thing up to meanie weenie. No, no, no. I, I know it oh. probably feels like we're taking things a little slow. But if you want to fight for justice, you're going to have to trust us. Oh, honey, did you just make that up? Yeah, I just did. OK, uh, you two do your best, and we'll be back to check on you later. Use your powers to pop as many bubbles as you can, hero. This is crazy. Mom and Dad are still treating us like babies. But we know we can handle real grown-up training, right? Yeah. We took down villains. We shouldn't be wasting time on this baby bot, right? Yeah! So you're gonna go crank up that crime bot to the meanie weenie level, right? No! <laughs> Mom and Dad said that we're not ready. Then let's prove them wrong. Leveling up. Stay 
Stand by. Hey, let's go get a snack while this thing levels up. Yeah, then we'll come back and show that goofy little robot who's boss. <laughs> I think he's the boss. Losers targeted. Oh, good. He found some losers. Where are the losers? Thanks, Billy. You know what? Let's just stand up to this tin man. Hey, metalhead! You're going down. You have defeated the crime buddy. Yes! Just kidding, you are dumb as well as weak. Can't wait to see how Billy and Nora did while we were gone. Yeah, I bet they're giving that crime buddy the business. Mm -hmm. Prepare to be destroyed. Let go of my babies! Your challenge is accepted, soccer bomb. They're not scared of you, but I am. Hey! My mom made that coat rack out of the first tree I flew into. Get a tissue, mama's boy. Oh, oh, oh that's it. You're out of here. <laughs> So, we finally get to meet our little girl's so-called boyfriend. Yo, Mullethead, 1985, Colton said that haircut was lame in 1985. Max, anything you want to say? I want to ask your mom if her face got hit by a makeup truck. Max! Uh, my sister's here. <laughs> Um, so, guys, um, what's more fulfilling, opening your own business or crushing someone's windpipe? Windpipe? <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a protein shake. <laughs> hey, boy. I want to talk to you. Weird hair. Hey, Max. Weird face. <laughs> Phoebe, they're closing in. Debbie, Gary, you know, I've actually done a little bit of fighting myself. Uh, let me show you some of my moves. No, I haven't had a chance to talk to the elf yet. <laughs> I have to show you now. Here, why don't you stand over here and I'll go smack this shirtless guy around. <laughs> Phoebe just keeps butting in. I'm gonna go. Great job, Phoebe. <laughs> Jim is weak. Don't go. Wait. Don't go. Amateur hour. I am so sorry. You two ruined our grand opening. I'm sure they didn't mean it. No, I want the Blundermans out of here now, and you will never see Max again. Let me make things right. Come on. Open up the fighting cage in your heart and let me in. You wouldn't last two seconds in my heart cage. Please, come on, I'll do anything. Actually, Gary, we do need a sparring partner for Daisy. You need someone to spar with Daisy? I'll spar with Daisy. Who's Daisy? Daisy is a world-class MMA fighter. You couldn't handle her. Take you guys down. <laughs> By accident, please let me help you. Daisy will quit our gym if we don't give her somebody to pound on. We can't afford to lose another star. Fine. Suit up and maybe it will forgive you. But you're still not in my heart cage! <laughs> Truth is... I really like your daughter. And you splitting us up has broken my heart. And I didn't even know I had one until I met Allison. Did you just talk to my parents without insulting them? Did I? What have you done to me? <laughs> She's changing you for the better! Whoa! You know, Max, now that you told me how you really feel, it changes nothing! You'll never, ever see my alley-wally again! What? 
what? He said, you'll never ever see my alley wally again. I just don't understand parents. Everything I saw on TV told me this would work. What is wrong with you guys? That was really hard for him. He never talks to adults without insulting them, but he didn't make fun of you. Yeah, I didn't say anything about that hatchet job you called a haircut or her paintball face. Was that out loud? Very loud! What? The point is, Max is a great boyfriend. He's not like other boys. He's fun, he's smart. One day he's gonna take over the world. Well, it is on my vision board. I'm sorry, but you can't treat me like your little alley wally forever. She's right, Gare Bear. Well, I suppose if we have to let you date somebody, it might as well be this tiny woodland creature. <laughs> Even if he was completely wrong about my sweet, sweet mullet. <laughs> so sweet. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Oh, Phoebe, get out of there. Alice and I are back together. Finally! <laughs> <laughs> Jim rocks! Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't call me so much. My name's Phoebe. <laughs> ah, good one. Oh, right, triple bug bonus. A cockroach crawled into the lamp. Cockroaches! Kids, pack your bags, we're moving. <laughs> ah, evil super cockroach is back. You ain't my sidekick, but you won't eat my family. Superbug Blitz, can you guys stop being old? I knew that. Stop being so old, Barb. Kids, look at this mess. You can't tear up the whole house for a video game. We didn't tear up the whole house. Yeah, we haven't even been near the bathroom. <gasps> the, the bathroom! <laughs> Jackpot. Okay, they have a problem. Where'd you get that phone? Uh, I love you. President Kickbutt, our phones are missing. Sitting in the Z Force. The Z Force is at the center of the Earth fighting a giant radioactive worm. Good, they're not busy. I am. Stop calling me. Kids. We have your phones. Oh, good. We better warm up our squishing fingers. <laughs> Ow! Cramp. Kids, we took your phones away because you were destroying the house. You guys need a break from technology. When your mother and I were kids, we used to play a little game called Go Outside. Yeah. <laughs> we play Go Outside. It's an app on our phones. <laughs> Every 10 minutes, it charges both of your credit cards. So fun. No, we actually played outside. Real games, like pick up sticks. Paint the sticks. Kick the sticks. There was a lot of stick-based games. How old are you guys? Outside. Fine. Come on, Nora. I think the outside is that way. They're having so much fun without their phones. Is it possible to be too good at parenting? <laughs> oh, we should reward ourselves with the Cupcake Island finale. I have to see if Tristan can beat Bryce after that gator took his baking hand. <laughs> Hank, the TV's gone. What kind of filthy no good loser would steal our TV? These losers. <laughs> What? We realized you guys were right. We've all been spending too much time staring at screens. So we made the TVs go bye-bye. <laughs> um, kids, we, we appreciate the thought, but we're about to watch our show's big finale. It is very important we find out who gets off Cupcake Island. <laughs> Maybe you could fly there on Twigtown Airlines. <laughs> Sorry we can't stick around. You need these. to be here somewhere. I'm coming for you, Cupcake Island! Ah! Whoa. Maybe we should give 
them back the TV. No, this is what we're waiting for, Billy. They're cracking. Well, kids, <laughs> listen. Uh, your mother and I think that we have taught you a very valuable life lesson, right, Barb? Yep, yep. You guys learned. We learned. Everybody learned. <laughs> Here are your phones. Now, where is our TV? I don't know. The six are pretty fun. Give us back our TV. <laughs> I think that's our TV. Quiet, hey, just take it. Billy, look, they added crickets to Superbug Blitz. What a time to be alive. Look, the kids are back to their old habits because we couldn't give up TV. Does this mean we're bad parents? No, watch this. Kids, go play with your phones outside. <laughs> <laughs> that is called winning the game of parenting, honey. And now to find out who won Cupcake Island. Kiss didn't win it all, baby. 